we don't really care about the customer. They are an obstacle to their wallet. We care about the customer's wallet. We don't care about the customer. All right, so earlier this month, we had a pretty interesting uh, situation where Wendy's got totally ridiculed and ripped apart for introducing surge pricing to the world. Um, this would mean that over time, depending on how many people are at the restaurants, the prices of burgers and food would go up the busier it is. There's a lot of hate about that because uh, nobody wants that. No, no one. I can confidently say, uh, no consumer of Wendy's products wanted that or wants that. They have since rolled back. But here's somebody who hasn't rolled back. Everyone <laughs> else. And uh, just earlier this week, Legoland and Merlin Entertainment, the company behind Legoland and Madame Tussauds and Sea Life Aquariums has announced that they are introducing surge pricing models to their amusement uh, entertainment companies. What are your I thoughts on that? I don't like this that? at all. I, I really don't like this because I know that they are trying to phrase this in a way where it seems like it's going to be discounted pricing and it's only going to help lower the price. I just don't buy it because we're, we're smart enough, we know enough about big business to understand that these people are never trying to save the consumer money. These people, when they're publicly traded companies right. or big experiences like this, they're always trying to find ways to maximize profit. So when you put maximize profit at the pinnacle of what you do, this is not about helping people. And it never has been, and I don't believe it ever will be. So th it's just really interesting that they're saying surge pricing when they saw how much criticism Wendy's got is the move that they want to actually make. And uh, I just, I don't think that this is going to be a good long-term solution by any means. No, it's not. And and like, like I was saying before we started recording, it seems like Wendy's had to be the first mm -hmm. one to say it. And now they're the ones getting, you know, they took all the, the heat for it because they were the ones that introduced it first to the zeitgeist. Nobody right. wants this. Like, nobody wants... We already live in a supply and demand world. It works as it is. But now you're going to have it down yeah. to the minute. Now it's going to be based on the minute, the you know, the hour that you're in on if people are there. Now, we, we've already seen companies like, and especially amusement parks, Disney already does this with, like, they have the Genie Plus app. You know, you're paying more. You're pay, you'll pay a premium to, to skip lines. I think in that instance – it's more okay. It's still stupid, but it's still it's more okay because you can pay extra sure. to get extra, right? So you're you're you are opting into the yes. operation yourself. This case, they're making the decision for you that things are going to be more expensive to ba to, uh, based on uh, how active everything is. Uh, look, Madame Tussauds is already too yeah. expensive to begin with. It's about a 35-minute, maybe 45-minute experience if you're slow. Uh, just keep going. You take your photos <laughs> and move along, right? Yeah. You know, it's already super expensive, and, and most people are just there to take, like, the Instagram selfies. Anyway, I, I can't imagine walking up and being willing to pay more because it just happens to be a little I do more. also think, though, that this is going to pose an issue – with people that are one walking up but people that are trying to buy in advance because surge pricing is is going to be based on supply and demand how can you honestly make an accurate prediction of what the demand is going to be two months down the line and a lot of people based on specific industries such as the airline industry have been trained to buy in advance concert tickets you buy in advance experiences most often you buy in advance so the amount of people right. or the percentage of people that are coming and have walk-up ticket purchases, I would venture to say is probably really minimal. But at the same time, how does surge pricing fit into that? And are you going to be shafted, for lack of a better term, for waiting to see if you could get one of those deals? I know that, you know, Broadway is a big one where you buy tickets in advance, but you can get cheap tickets at the door if they're available. If that right. model now disappears, right. are people no longer going to be buying at the door? Is that not going to be a viable option? 
I, I well, I think Broadway is interesting because Broadway's been hurting sure. for the last few years. Ever since the pandemic and post pandemic, Broadway's I mean, yeah, Phantom of the Opera closed. Like that's 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 massive, right? So, but it, I think it's it's more like uh, it'll be interesting to see because will it if they can make more money on it then yeah maybe, maybe that'll be the case maybe you're going to end up paying more booking in advance they're going to start like hedging against what the surge pricing would be and and start charging you more there maybe they're going to push for an environment where you're you're paying more at the door i i sure. and that's just for events yeah. like event marketing maybe they're going to want you to be paying you know maybe it's better for them to have i i i mean Pre-orders is obviously sure. the best. You want the pre-orders because then you can track everything. You get better analytics. You get the money in the bank before you have to deliver the service. That's something most businesses want to do. Uh, but I think, especially with surge pricing, where they make out better, they could they could right. determine what the pricing is. Wendy's defense was, uh, oh, no, it was never about raising prices. It was about giving discounts and everybody says right that's not and and i think right here (laughs) i think it's important to understand price points right and when we look at the price point for wendy's surge pricing it might be on a a variable scale that goes from a dollar to let's say three dollars when we look at events like legoland we're not talking a dollar to three dollars we're talking fifty dollars to a hundred and fifty dollars So it's like economies of scale. We're looking at really big numbers now. And even if they say, oh, it's only, you know, 2% variation, that can be a big difference. And I highly doubt they would go as low as 2%. I'd probably say they're going to say 15 to 20%. That can be 10 to $20 ticket pricing based on the demand. Yes, I just pulled it up and one or, you know, obviously it's fluctuating. If you get more tickets, it's it's less, but... You're looking at anywhere from seventy nine to one hundred and twenty nine dollars per yep. ticket per person. So that's, I mean, if you got a family of four or five, you're looking at around five hundred dollars a day. Is one of the biggest Lego sets you can buy, and that <laughs> provides <laughs> weeks. I know this for a fact because I just built the Coliseum last year, and it took me three and a half weeks. And it was, well, well that is slow. possibly true as well. <laughs> But it took a long time. And I mean, like, yes, I'm all in on experiences and I'm all in favor of that. But when these companies start to exploit the consumer in a way where they're just trying to figure out how to milk them for everything they're worth or take as much dollar from them as possible without upsetting them, you upset them because people are not dumb. They see what you're doing and they recognize, I don't want to be a part of that. So why spend $500 for one day? to go to the this Lego Lego Land Lego Adventure when I could spend $500 and do something awesome also with Legos that I can have forever and last a long time. Well, I I, I this this really this entire situation, the the Wendy's and Lego Land all together makes me think that this is just the nonsensification of corporate I'm, I'm going to say corporate sure. America, okay? Because last year we had the the situation with Hasbro, and it just makes me think of this because of what they said in in yep. their earnings call, um, and the things that were leaked from from the company of what they're telling internally to the employees of we don't really care. It, and it's I'm paraphrasing, but we don't really care about the customer. They are an obstacle to their wallet. We care about the customer's wallet. We don't care about the customer. So everything is an obstacle to getting to the customer's money. Wow. We, we don't – and that's just corporations now. That's Wendy's, Legoland, Hasbro. It's all the same thing, and, and all the companies all think the same way. All these corporations think the same way. It's how, what can we do to get the money out of your pocket? So, I mean, as we tie up this topic, I want to leave you with this one thing. Over the next few days, every time you're shopping, stop and ask yourself, why am I spending money mm-hmm. on this thing? Okay? And when you, you, you go to Starbucks, you're buying coffee – and it costs $5, I want you to ask yourself, what were the circumstances that led to this company getting your $5, $6 for coffee? How did that work? Backtrack it. Tell yourself the story. Make the connections there and try to follow that because it's kind of interesting to see what are corporations doing, what are companies doing to get your money, 
And then once you recognize that, it's like, oh, I'm totally falling for it. This is <laughs> this is nonsense. The Brazilian bold at Seven Eleven is just as good yeah. as three dollars, <laughs> you know, if if not less, right? So think about it that way. Try to find out why and where you're spending your money, and it'll help you in the long run. You might you may start making some good conscious decisions Absolutely. then, right? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it and learned something new. And if you did and you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider subscribing to the channel where we have a lot more videos just like this available for you now. Like the video if you haven't already. And if you didn't like it, downvote it. Also comment, let us know what you think. Are we wrong or did we get it right? We would love to hear your thoughts and we answer as many comments as we can in the chat and available every video. And if you're looking for something new to watch, right here, here's a new video we just queued up for you. So thank you so much, and we hope to see you again real soon.